Hello Nigeria. Don't alarm ega watam October. Nashi kar alip dali chara de sitine kasar Nigeria. Tasa mi enchin kai awajan tura wa mulki malaka na kasar Britania. Kuma awan nalana ni en kasar ki nuna farin chikin su. Inda kumashu gaban nang kasar ki gudana de talo. Damba yenawa al umars edang ayyukan chi gaban da suka yi. I wish to renew my appreciation. Nigeria tasa mi enchi ni daga wajan tura wa mulki malaka aloka chamwari gai Prime Minister Abu Bakar Tafawa Baliwa. Yana shugaban hadiyar gwamnatin parliamentary system. Bayan shekaru uku da samun yanci wato shekarar 1963 ne, Nigeria ta zama cikakkiyar gwamnatin tarayya wato Federal Republic of Nigeria. Kuma marigayi nan da Azikuye shine ya zama shugaban kasar Nigeria na farko a wancan lokaci. A yau ma daya ga watan Oktoba na shekarar 2020 Nigeria ta cika shekaru 60 chip chip da samun yanci a wajen tura wa mulkin mallaka Adam haka ne ma shugaban kasa na yanzu Muhammad Buhari yayi wa yan kasar sa jawabi tare da bayyana musu wasu ayyukan cigaba da ya ce gwamnatin su ta kawo wa yan Nigeria as a strong indivisible nation united in hope and equal in opportunity on October 1st 1960 when Prime Minister Al-Haja Abu Bakr Shafawa Balewa received the constitutional instruments symbolizing Nigeria's independence, he expressed his wish that having acquired our rightful status as an independent sovereign nation, history will record that the building of our nation proceeded at the wisest pace. This optimism was anchored on the peaceful planning, full and open consultation, and harmonious cooperation with the different groups which culminated in Nigeria emerging as a country without bitterness and bloodshed. Our founding fathers understood the imperative of structuring a national identity using the power of the state and work towards the unification of Nigerians in a politically stable and viable entity. That philosophy guided the foundation that was laid for our young nation of 45 million people with an urban population of approximately 7 million occupying an area of 910,000 768 square kilometers. These demographics led to development challenges for which major efforts were made to overcome. Today, we grapple with multiple challenges with a population exceeding 200 million occupying the same land mass but 52% residing in urban areas. Six years of nationhood provides an opportunity to ask ourselves questions on the extent to which we have sustained the aspirations of our founding fathers. Where did we do the right things? Are we on course? If not, where did we stray? and how can we remedy and retrace our steps? Often attaining independence, Nigeria's growth trajectory was anchored on policies and programs that positively impacted on all sectors of the economy. However, this journey was cut short by the 30 months of civil war. We came out of the civil war with a focus on reconstruction, rehabilitation, and reconciliation that enables the country to put in place world-class development structures and a strengthened public service that well served the government. This positive trajectory continued with a return to democratic government, which was truncated by another round of military rule. For a cumulative 29 
of our 60 years existence as a nation, we had been under military rule. My summary of our journey so far as a nation is necessary to appropriately chart where we need to go and how to get there together. Today, I am aware that our economy along with every single economy in the world is in crisis. We still face security challenges in parts of the country. While our society suffers from high loss of moral rectitude, which is driven by unbridled craving for political control. An underlying cause of most of the problems we have faced as a nation is our consistent harping on artificially contrived fault lines that we have harbored and allowed unnecessarily to fester. In addition, institutions such as civil service, police, the judiciary, the military all suffered from a general decline. We need to begin a sincere process of national healing, and this anniversary presents a genuine opportunity to eliminate old and out one perceptions that are always put to test in the lie they always are. The stereotype of thinking of ourselves as coming from one part of the country before seeing ourselves as Nigerians is a key starting point to project us on the road to our deserved nation's evolution and integration. To start this healing process, we are already blessed with the most important asset any nation requires for such, our people. And this has manifested globally in the exploits of Nigerians in many fields. It has been demonstrated time and time again that Nigerians in the diaspora frequently excel in science, technology, medicine, sports, arts, and many other fields. Similarly, the creativity, ingenuity, and the resourcefulness of the Nigerian at home has resulted in globally recognized endeavors. I am convinced that if we pursue our aspirations together, we would be able to achieve whatever we desire. That informed our adopting the theme together to mark this epochal event. Together, we can change our condition for the better, and more importantly, together, we can do much more for ourselves and for our country. I choose the path of self-reflection because this is what I do on a daily basis. And I must confess that at most times, I always felt the need for a collective reflection, as I know, that the foundation for a solid future which this administration is laying can only be sustainable if there is a collective commitment by Nigerians. Nigeria is not a country for Mr. President, any ruling or opposition party, but a country for all of us, and we must play our part irrespective of challenges we face to make this country what we desire. To achieve this, we must focus our minds together as a people on ways of resolving the identified critical challenges that underlie our present state. These include A, evolving and sustaining a democratic culture that leaves power in the hands of the people. B, supporting the enthronement of the rule of law, demanding accountability of elected representatives and contributing to good governance. C, 
increasing our commitment to peaceful coexistence in a peaceful, secure, and united Nigeria. D, harnessing and optimizing our tremendous human and natural resources to attain our goal of being in the top 20 economies of the world and in the process, E, lifting 100 million Nigerians out of poverty in 10 years. F, strengthening institutions to make them stronger in protecting national interests and G, imbibing tolerance in diversity. I am a firm believer in transparent, free, fair, and credible elections as has been demonstrated during my period as a democratically elected president. The recent build-up and the eventual outcome of the Edo state election should encourage Nigerians that it is my commitment to bequeath to this country processes and procedures that would guarantee that the people votes count. To kadan kenan daga cikin jawaban shugaban kasar Nigeria Muhammad Buhari a wannan rana. Ranar da Nigeria ke cika shekaru 60 da samun yanci a wajen turawan mulkin mallaka. Shin koyaya batun ci gaba a ita kasar ta Nigeria muna bukatar mu ji daga gare ku masu kallo da kuma sauraron mu.